Hello and welcome to our discussion on understanding financial statements. In this session, we will try to observe the difference between accounting profit and taxable income and understand the effect of these on financial statements. Normally, the accounting profit is not equal to tax profit because accounting profit is determined as per the generally accepted accounting principles and taxable income is determined as per the Income Tax Act. There are several reasons or the causes why accounting profit is not equal to the taxable profit. Let us take an example and in this example we'll pick up only one the difference, one of the causes for the differences, that is depreciation. First let us convert these transactions into financial statements because um, unless we see the conversion we will not be appreciating the difference between income statement profit and taxable profit. So sales, entire stock is sold for 250,000 and sales is for cash. Since sales is for cash, there has a cost of goods sold and the cost of goods sold is 100,000. So the stock becomes zero. Stock becomes zero. Office expenses for the period is, um, office expenses for the period is 20,000 and let us assume that we have paid this office expense and 20,000 is a payment. We purchase plant for 200,000. Acquisition of plant is an asset resulting in outflow of cash. And depreciation on this plant is 20%, 20% given and it is used uh, on by using SLM which will have an effect in the future. When depreciation is 40,000 since it is the first year so the accumulated depreciation is also 40,000. Interest for the period is 10% on the bonds so 10% on the bonds and we pay the interest because we have sufficient money and uh, so interest is 10,000 is an expense and payment. The summation of this is the, is the total expenses before, so it is PBT is equal to 250,000 minus 70, 170, so PBT is 80,000. We will not calculate the tax on it. When the tax will be calculated on the taxable income and the taxable income all items are same except for the taxation uh, except for the depreciation which they charge 50 percent on rbm so we will see the tax the income statement will have sales same as income statement the uh, cogs same as the income statement office expenses but you see the depreciation depreciation here was 40,000 and depreciation here is 100,000 because the depreciation as per the income tax is used on RPM reducing balance method no other difference so the interest is same so the difference let us keep a watch on that the difference between income statement and the, the and uh, uh, the tax is different because of the methods of depreciation. So the taxable income is equal to the is equal to the taxable income is uh, twenty thousand, whereas the profit before tax is eighty thousand. So the taxable income, if taxable income is not same as the profit before tax or accounting income. So let us see what happens. According to the accounting standard, the tax expense and the tax payable will be different. 
the tax payable is calculated on the taxable income whereas the tax expense that will be current tax and the deferred tax so the tax payable let us calculate the tax payable so tax payable is equal to tax payable is equal to 20 assuming that we have 30 percent tax so 30 percent tax so it will be 6000 and the accounting standard says that the tax expense to be shown in the income statement should have current tax and a deferred tax and what is this current tax the current tax is a statutory obligation and it is the tax on the taxable income whereas the deferred tax is a tax on the temporary difference let us understand what is that so the difference between accounting profit and the tax profit in this example is only because of the difference between the depreciation so 60,000 the difference in a profit is the difference due to depreciation <coughs> but we know that total depreciation that can be claimed by a company is equal to the cost of the asset so the depreciation over a period of time is more or is same under both the taxation and accounting which we can see here the total depreciation here is under accounting 200,000 and the taxation is also approximately same so accounting and tax so the depreciation in both the cases over a period of time is same whereas depreciation for the period is different therefore this difference is called temporary difference and according to the accounting standard in the income statement one has to show current tax as well as the deferred tax let us show that so the tax is equal to current tax and the current tax is equal to coming from the taxable income and also as per the accounting standard one need to show the deferred tax and the deferred tax is the tax on the timing difference so the current tax is calculated on the taxable income and deferred tax is calculated on the timing difference but the payment the deferred tax is not a statutory obligation but is an accounting adjustment whereas the current tax is a tax payable and that has to be paid so the expense is 24,000 but the payment is 6,000 so the balance is shown as the deferred tax liability so the deferred tax liability is 18,000 so deferred tax liability is equal to 18,000 let us recap that so deferred tax liability is there because there is deferred tax deferred tax is there because there is a timing difference timing difference is there because the depreciation under accounting is not same as the depreciation under taxation in this example so the profit between accounting and tax is different because of the timing difference arising out of depreciation and we'll see the um, PAT PAT is equal to PVT minus CT minus DT then PAT will be transferred to the reserve since no information given and the tax uh, since we paid so the total taxable income uh, total cash available is equal to total cash in hand minus the cash payment so cash in hand and cash in hand as usual will be transferred to the balance sheet no difference in the capital no change in the bonds no change in the creditor and uh, no so the total of the sources side is six twenty four thousand no change in the debtors 
So the total of the asset side should also be 625. So important issue that we touched here, discussed here, is regarding the deferred tax liability. Deferred tax liability arises because of deferred tax. And deferred tax is a tax on the timing difference, whereas the current tax is from the taxable income. Suppose if I don't pay the current tax, if we don't pay the current tax, current tax is a statutory obligation. Now we paid that money. If the current tax is not paid, okay, if I don't pay the current tax, then current tax payable is a liability. Current tax payable is normally treated as a current liability. The deferred tax, it is subject to certain assumptions. Some people will treat that as a liability and some can be treat, uh, treat that as a part of the adjustment to the reserves. So to summarize, we can say that in the income statement, deferred tax is shown. In the cash flow statement, we show the current tax and if it is not paid, it is shown as the CT payable in the balance sheet. In both the cases, we show deferred tax liability and the balance sheet. So, whenever there is an accounting profit not same as the tax profit, this concept of the deferred tax and deferred tax liability arises. And this arises because accounting income is not same as taxable income. If they are not same, then there is a need to calculate the current tax and deferred tax. Current tax is calculated on the taxable income. Current tax is calculated on the taxable income, where the deferred tax is calculated on the temporary differences. And the temporary differences, as we have seen here, one of the reasons for the temporary differences is depreciation. Thank you very much.